President Nana Akufo-Addo has been criticized after bus and taxi fares went up by 15 percent. They came to power last year promising to transform Ghana's struggling economy and improve living conditions. But the government has agreed to the fare increase to compensate operators for higher fuel prices and the rising cost of spare parts and maintenance. Many Ghanaians say the rise will add to the cost of living at a time when they're struggling to survive. March the 31st marked the first anniversary since Central African Republic President Faustin Oshan Shodera took office. Shodera has been struggling to make strides in development, security, justice and the reconstruction of the state as fighting has fled in recent months around Bambari in the center of the country between two rebel groups that formerly belonged to the Salika Alliance. A year ago, the people of the Central African Republic pegged their hopes on their new president, Faustin Achanga Todera, a choice that was widely seen as a step towards reconciliation in the country following years of turmoil. At the time, Todera says he would focus on building peace and enacting reforms to end violence. Today, the streets of Bangui are buzzing with activity, with traffic and street vendors and construction coming up in parts of the city. But huge challenges remain in CAR, one of the world's most unstable countries, which is divided along ethnic and religious lines and is largely still controlled by warlords. Despite a respite in violence following Taudero's election, violent clashes in parts of CAR among dozens of armed factions has raised concerns on the country's reforms and reconciliation. In Bangui, traders say business is slowly coming back, but assessing merchandise is difficult due to insecurity. The economy is slowly getting back on track, but security remains a problem especially when traveling in some parts of the country. In order to go to Mbulae or Douala to buy merchandise, you need to go with an escort. We used to travel without needing escorts of members from the peacekeeping contingent. Today, to go to Douala and come back with merchandise is a whole problem. There is total insecurity in provinces, but Bongui remains safe. Security remains a major worry amongst many. Only some of the 400,000 people displaced by the turmoil are only beginning to return. Residents of Malika neighborhood in Bangui say safety is slowly returning, although many still fear returning. Armed groups used to walk around day and night, but that's no longer the case, so that's very encouraging. Even though the president just started his job, we need to trust him and help him along with other international partners. Many fear that rising tensions will continue to impede the country's recovery. According to aid agencies, some 2.3 million people, almost half of the population, are in need of humanitarian assistance, and about 20% of the country's population is still displaced. Nearly $400 million is needed to fund Central African Republic's 2017 Humanitarian Response Plan and provide aid to 1.6 million people this year. International donors promised 2.06 billion euros in longer-term aid last year. Libyan authorities in the northern port city of Misrata have freed 28 Eritreans and 7 Nigerian nationals who had been in ISIS detention for months. The Reuters news agency reported authorities investigated the ties to the ousted Islamic State group. The group escaped from Sirte, a former IS stronghold in central Libya, where forces from the nearby city of Nisrata battled to oust the militants late last year. Some of the women were on their way to Europe when IS fighters kidnapped and held them as sex slaves. Head of the UNHCR's Libya mission, Sama Hadadin, told Reuters that those released would be processed as refugees and given protection and medical treatment.